good people. Hey, that's my Snapchat intro. But hey, everybody, see Key here. I know I'm looking all kinds of crazy, but you guys, as you see from the title of this video, you already know what's going down. But I had to give y'all a little intro and say, what's up? What's up? But listen, I have been wanting to do this video for 50,000 years, okay? And I finally made the time to do it. I wanted to show you guys like some do's. Mm -hmm, girl. And I wanted to show you guys some don'ts, right? Because I can show you techniques and I can tell you the things that I do to help my makeup application. But I also wanted to show you some things that maybe are not so great to do. Okay. Now listen, if you like your makeup like this here, no condemnation, no judging, no shade. I'm just saying that I prefer my makeup like this. Some of the stuff that's on this side, I actually used to do. The whole brow situation with that like too light, get that flashback from the flash and the camera. I mean, just stay tuned for this video because I share some tips and tricks with you guys on how not to look like this, unless that's what you want, okay? Unless that's what you want and how to look like this. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget you guys, I have a new channel or shall I say I have a second channel where, and as a matter of fact, I got a little thrown off this week. So we're a little late on the upload but I do have another channel a second channel where I actually talk about things like you know motivational things I know it's kind of hard for you guys to take me seriously looking like this but I do want to tell you guys that I love you so much I appreciate all of your support if this video helped you or if you just got a kick out of it don't forget to thumbs up and share if you like because I don't mind at all it totally helps the channel I appreciate all of your support here and on my second channel Seeky Uncut where everything is uncut raw and I'm just free to be me okay we talk about whatever I want to talk about and you guys have an awesome blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think let's hit you from this side bye <laughs> so stay tuned for the video you guys I love you Mwah. so in this corner I am using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. Now when you highlight under your brow, you don't wanna go too bright because you want it to be kinda subtle. But then again, it depends, you know? It's all preference, okay? Now this is not necessarily my skin tone, but it's neutral. But that right there definitely wasn't my skin tone, okay? So this is really, really bright. Now I see people do this all the time. You can totally pull it off, but I prefer not to do that, especially on the top of the brow. But that brow's banging no girl. But However, when you do that, the flash will catch that girl. Now on this end, I am using a concealer to mute out the discoloration and I'm setting it with a powder. Now what that does is it allows the eyeshadow to show true to color as well as it doesn't, um, it stops it from skipping. That's what I should say. You see how I'm having a hard time with the shadow over here? It's skipping and it's patchy and all that stuff. When you do it on this side, it's like butter baby, like butter baby. No, I'm just kidding. Go well, kinda. But anyway, so it looks so much better, you see? Plus on the other side, I started off with a really dark color. What you wanna do is you wanna build unless you're going for a specific look. Now I took the same dark shade from the other side and I'm just placing it in the outer V. And then another thing I used to do, I used to use a bright shimmer shade in the brow bone. I don't really use shimmer in my brow bone anymore, but it's still cute. You just wanna make sure that the color matches, okay? Now on this side, I am using a very neutral highlight that is really subtle and that looks more natural. But of course, you know, that changes with each look. But this is what I go to for my neutral look and I absolutely love it. For lashes, make sure they are all the way on the lash line, okay? Not like that other one, but like this one right here. Cause you can see it in pictures, I promise you guys. Now, a lot of people tell me they want a natural look and then they like, like spruce up that liner in their waterline and it looks too harsh. When you can just take an eyeshadow that you use for your outer V, place a little bit of that liner in that, just like in that corner and it makes it pop and it looks natural and it looks bomb. Now I'm using primer on the side that I really, really love. Okay. Now the primer, it serves two purposes. Number one, it gives the um, foundation something to adhere to, fills in pores, and it makes the foundation set like really good. Like it, it lays on your skin great. And then you can correct also to cancel out that hyperpigmentation like I just did. So this is the other side and this is the side that we rocking girl. Now, I don't know if you see a difference with the foundation, okay? Two things here. 
My skin is really absorbing the foundation because there's no base, there's no primer there. And the other thing is that it's the wrong color. You never wanna match your face unless your face is the same shade as your body. So I like to match my neck because my neck is lighter than my face. See, you see how that works on out? Not everybody's happy, just saying. So blend that on out, girl. Now with the concealer, you don't wanna go too bright and you wanna make sure that the undertone matches your skin tone. So for me, this is a little too neutral and it's also too bright because remember, we're highlighting and highlighting does just that. It highlights, okay? So when it's too bright, it is totally highlighting that bag right there and that is not the look we're going for. But I am gonna use this same powder that I'm setting with on this side but you see how this is more subtle now the first this is like two concealers that I usually use by Estee Lauder so the first one is more of my skin tone and I use another one to brighten it up a little bit because you know I want to highlight and so then you blend that out and I'm using the same powder to set it with which is the Graftobian powder that I talked about in my setting powders video you guys and I'm using my same setting powder to set all over my face for both sides it is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder that I love oh so much, okay? So we're setting both sides, and then, girl, y'all ready? Are y'all ready for the next step? Contour, uh-huh, no, I'm just kidding. But when you contour, you don't wanna take it all the way to your mouth, and you wanna make sure the undertone is right, otherwise it'll look like dirt, okay? And when I do contour, I like to place and blend so that it looks natural. I don't wanna show all my business. I don't need you to know exactly where I contoured and highlighted and put blush, okay? Now, I do you know some people do this like the apples of their cheeks but you want to make sure that you apply a br that you apply that you apply blush properly according to your face shape so for me I don't like the apples of my cheek okay I like to do it like this now with highlight y'all I was clowning a little bit and I done messed up <laughs> but anyway I could fix that so you also want to make sure when you're using a highlight that you are using something that goes with your skin tone and your undertone as well now I could get away with this color but it is definitely not a preference because it's a little too icy for me, you know what I mean? It has like too much silver. Like I was just clowning in this video, y'all, seriously. But you wanna use a color something like this, which is my fave. It is Oprah Beverly Hills. I love it. We're not gonna use it today, but it's like my number one right now. Now this one I recently added in the rotation. This is Becca Amber Bronze, I believe. Now this is a more subtle highlight. So if you're just getting into highlights, I recommend something subtle like this and then build it on up, girl. Now liners. I really haven't been rocking liners a whole lot, but when I'm rocking a lippy like this one, which is ColourPop 951, liner is a must. I just, it looks so much better and you guys will see. So I love this side, you guys, I love it. Or do you prefer this side? Let me know in the comments, y'all. So I just wanted to show you guys some tips and tricks. Like you see how the eyeshadow even looks different, the lashes and everything. So I hope this helped you guys. And I love you guys so much. Give me some feedback. Let me know what videos you wanna see next. Check out the videos that I have linked right here. And another one should pop up right here. And then just, yeah, let me know your thoughts, okay? And I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support. I had so much fun doing this video, y'all don't even understand. But have an awesome, blessed day, and I'll see you sooner than you think. Bye.